Okay, this is Texas Prepper 2. Uh, let me let you take a look at uh, <laughs> what I'm going to call Franken corn here. Uh, I did it in these raised bed, what I'm calling a raised bed. It's basically some tubs that have some holes drilled in them. This is the from the corn, fall corn experiment I did a video on. Uh, about three to four feet tall. Uh, wiring heads up there guarding them real well. Uh, this is 100% horse manure in the tubs. Only thing I did was to put some potting soil just right where I was planting the seed to get it to germinate. I found out from trial and error it would not germinate in just the uh, horse manure would not germinate in that. So I put some uh, uh, potting soil in there and it germinated very quickly. It uh, I'm sure as soon as it germinated, the roots went down into the horse manure, but it certainly seems to love it. Um, what I am doing, and somebody tell me if they don't think this is going to be <laughs> going to come out well. Uh, normally, you're going to thin your corn out to one, you know, every 10 inches or something like that. These are planted on about 10 inches. Uh, what I have done, since it is so rich in horse manure, straight horse manure, 100%, I am leaving where there are two, I am leaving two. Now, you know, I don't know whether that's, uh, whether that's good or not. You tell me. Is it, uh, yeah, there's three. I need to break that one up. But uh, where there are two, I'm leaving two, uh, as you can see. I, I think there's going to be enough uh, fertilizer, enough nourishment, enough uh, food for it to to make the the ears on two and uh, as it would on one simply because it's just so rich uh, if you don't think that's the case please tell me so I can cut these things cut the uh, second one off there but anyway Franken corn Franken corn and golly there's old there's old iron head iron head garden of Franken corn Anyway, and we'll take a quick look at the other corn I have growing in the other garden. Okay, this corn also is about, uh, some of it's about three to four feet tall. Uh, I came through yesterday and right in the middle, right down the middles, you can actually see that. Uh, I put some ammonium, not ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulfate. Ammonium nitrate, you can't buy anymore because they're afraid you might make something go boom. Anyway, uh, I probably, gosh, I hope I didn't put too much, but I put uh, maybe a half a cup in each of these four-foot tubs, uh, you know, right down right down the middle of it. Kind of scooped out the uh, covering there, the um, wood chips, put it on the dirt, have watered it in last couple of days real good, put it on yesterday afternoon, watered it in, watered it again a while ago. But anyway, this corn here is looking better than I thought it was going to. Uh, oh, it's already going to start tasseling on me here. A little tassel fixing to come on. So that's about the right time. If you wait till they tassel to fertilize that last time, then uh, maybe a little, maybe a little too late. And I may have been a little late on this. I don't know. I, I'd already put some modium nitrate uh, a few weeks ago uh, when I when they first came up. But uh, anyway, these are looking good. I think I've got plenty of time. Uh, these are supposed to be 68. I think both corns uh, are 68 to 70 day corn, 78 days, 70 to 78 days, something like that. This is the Golden Bantam Improved. The other corn, the Franken corn, is the Hybrid Funk 90. And uh, looking for, uh, I know the Funk 90 is going to be good. It's just some great, great sweet corn. Looking, uh, looking for this to be pretty good. We'll see. Uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, the ammonium nitrate should kick in on these and and uh, the water that I'm giving them uh, at least every other day, if not every day, should uh, should produce some good ears. Uh, these are supposed to, one reason I chose this, as I said before, uh, is because it supposedly, uh, actually it said uh, it, it, that these would have, the golden bantam improved, would have at least two ears per stalk. At least. I like at least that means maybe more so anyway we'll see but this is uh 
I don't know. That's a pretty good looking stand of corn down there. Some of it didn't make, but uh, that was probably the fault of old Armadillo Willie, who is <laughs> no longer with us. I'm sorry. It's still a little, a little fresh. It burns just a little bit to think about Armadillo. <laughs> but I'll get over it. He's in a better place. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm a Dilly Willy. Golly, look at this. Would you look at those? That is that Marina de Chagia, Chogia. It is. Well, you can see the tub here that it's in. And it is just eight foot away. Huge. This is uh, watermelons. That's pumpkin. And then those huge leaves are the Marina de Chagia. Man, it is going crazy. Good gracious, if I make if I make one of them for every bloom I got, I'm going to have to get all y'all's addresses so I can send you one. Golly, Moses. Lots of good stuff. Everything's looking good. Boy, I hope you got a fall garden going. I, I think I, I, I've talked to or, or listened to people, read about people that said they don't even plant a spring garden anymore. They just go straight for the fall garden because it's, it's a better garden. And this is my second one to really cultivate and really try for and I do believe they're correct this is a uh, man good garden good garden uh, just having trouble picking all the peppers and such and I'll show you one real quick 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 I know you gotta go I know somebody's knocking on the door oh it's on the other side never mind Big old, look at this. That is a Waltham butternut squash. That sucker's 10 or 12 inches long. It weighs four pounds. That's another one of them that's kind of big bone, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're gone. We're gone. There's a zucchini. I'm going to get him. We're gone. Bye.